Hi guys, Helium Voice here. <laughs> you may have noticed that this video's title is completely stupid. Kind of like these videos with equally absurd titles that I'm going to talk about today. Now, this video is about clickbait, or more specifically, clickbait titles. I might make more videos on different types of clickbait because there's loads of them. But today in our crosshairs is a type of clickbait I like to call cliffbait. I call it this because it leaves you on a cliffhanger. Kind of like how at the end of every Transformers movie there's always a massive cliffhanger to get people hyped for the next film. Even though we're well aware that the next film will end in another massive cliffhanger to make room for more movies to sell more toys. But I digress. So the way cliffbait titles are structured is with a setup followed by a cliffhanger. For example, the setup could be, pff, I don't know, man throws cucumber off roof. And then the cliffhanger could be, you won't believe what happens next. You get the idea. The thing about these titles is that when you see one, you know it's obviously clickbait, but you click on it anyway just because the temptation's too much. I mean, what happened next? What happened to the dolphins? Why did some guy throw a cucumber off a roof? But these questions never get resolved because 90% of the time, the topics of these videos have little to nothing to do with the title. And that's why this type of clickbait's so frustrating, because it messes with our instincts of wanting things to resolve. The titles basically make you a slave to the videos. So recently I've seen videos with similar titles cluster together in my YouTube recommendations. Like this one. Dad tries to save son from falling, then this happens. And then when you click on it, it's just some guy trying to sell you gift cards. I have over 200 gift cards that I'm giving away, with new winners picked every single day. iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, or any other card you would like. And I'm giving away two brand new iPhone 7 Pluses every month. All you have to do to get yourself entered is leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on my channel by clicking the bell, and then comment which gift card you would like to win. Also, in my next video, I'll be giving away five gift cards for the first 100 comments. So make sure to turn notifications on, so you're in every comment on my next video, have a very high chance of winning a gift. Seriously, this just goes on and on and on for 40 seconds. And then when you get to the actual meat of the video, it's just clips of people on roller coasters. No commentary, no reaction, just 13 solid minutes of stolen footage. And somehow he earns money from this. And it's not just Master Saint who's caught onto this weird father son roller coaster trend. It's got its fair share of copycats. But then the original video, which sadly doesn't have as many views as some of the re-uploads, is just an innocent video of a kid going on a ride with his dad. So I don't have a clue what the deal is with all this you won't believe what happens next stuff because nothing happens next. He just gets on the ride and gets off, full stop. But guess, at the end of the day, a video titled Is This Little Kid Brave Enough To Ride The Slingshot won't get as many views as Dad Tries To Save Son. Blood Warning. Okay, moving on. This next one always cracks me up. Texas mum thinks she's carrying twins, then doctor takes a closer look and screams help. I mean, it's just worded so awkwardly. And apparently this ingenious title so good that it was copied word for word by some channel called Shocking Story Today. I mean, this is just one of those awful channels that uses cool text and every video uses that annoying text to speech. Lauren Perkins has always dreamed of becoming a mom. Wait a minute, so that video was uploaded on the 28th of April and... So you're telling me that this dodgy channel that hides its sub count came up with the title first, and then Facts First, which is supposed to be this professional channel, stole it? You can really tell that Facts First is running out of ideas. Oh yeah, and in both videos there's no mention of a doctor screaming help. So I found loads more examples than this, but they're not really worth talking about because they're basically the same thing. But recently I found this channel that uses clickbait titles that stood out from the rest and didn't seem as bad. It was almost as if he used clickbait right. The channel's called Chubimu and at first his videos weren't doing really well, with some of his older videos only getting a few hundred views even to this day. But then on the 7th of August 2017 he hit a gold mine. He started uploading these medical videos with clickbaity titles like A grandma ate one pound of chocolate in six hours. This is what happened to her brain. A starving mum suddenly ate 40 cookies. This is what happened to her heart. 
A boy consumed ten buckets of marshmallow fluff. This is what became of his earlobes. I made that last one up if you couldn't tell. I think one of the reasons these titles aren't as bad as some of the others is because what you get is what the title says. Unlike this video where I was expecting to hear a doctor scream help. Let's just say I was very disappointed. And of course, you need a bit of ambiguity in your title to get people interested. Anyway, if the title told you everything about the video, there'd be no point watching it. Just read the title instead. Although I do prefer titles that are less on the vague side. I want to know what's on my plate before I order. God, that was a weird metaphor. So anyway, those are my thoughts on clickbait. This video is the first in a new series called Know Your Clickbait, which is kind of like Know Your Meme, but worse. I recommend some of Chubby Emu's videos because they're actually really interesting and informative. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go give them a watch. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye. Oh wait, almost forgot. Welcome to the new and improved end card. I know it's quite empty right now, but soon it should get more lively. Hopefully. Here I'll be showcasing any fan art and we can just have a genuine chat. Also, I'll be doing free shoutouts every video to small channels I recommend. So today's shoutouts are to Vulcan Animations, Kamikaze and a lad named Loaf. So go check them out if you feel like it. Or don't. Thanks for watching, again. And as pre-2018 Joel would say, Joel out. God, that was a weird child back then.